What's going on everybody? It is your boy Dylan Matthews back at it again with another hometown take. Today I'm talking about the Atlanta Falcons and if say it ain't so, should we draft a wide receiver in this draft? I'm going to get into it. Before I do that, make sure you, you like this video, comment your thoughts, and subscribe to the channel. Also, there's a link down below in my description box to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. So make sure you help me a boy out and buy me a coffee. Also, make sure you subscribe to the Tough Pop. Wow. I don't know why I always want to go Tough Pops. Like, probably because we're at podcasts afterwards. But anyways, make sure you subscribe to the Tough Calls podcast. It's on Spotify, Apple Music with me and your favorite sports personality sports reporter somehow Stanley so make sure you go ahead and subscribe to that on Apple Music Spotify or wherever you get your podcast now let's get right into the video like I said talking about whether or not the Atlanta Falcons should draft a wide receiver and before you say because I know y'all thinking Dylan we got Julio Jones Calvin Ridley Russell Gage we even got Hayden Hurst I know I know all that but that leads me to the next question I'm asking y'all to make sure y'all comment down below. Should the Falcons trade Julio Jones? Now I know, like, well, don't shoot me. Hold up now, don't shoot. Before you get in my comments and start going crazy and start acting crazy and getting Twitter thumb crazy, I'm saying, hear me out. Julio did not have a good season last year, was riddled with injuries, didn't find the end zone too many times. Bill Belichick, you know all the years he had successful with Tom Brady, and I know a lot of people are going to say now, it seems like it was just Tom Brady, not necessarily Bill Belichick. Whatever the case was, when they were winning, he knew when it was time to get rid of players. And he was always getting rid of players a year early, maybe a year too early, before it was a year too late. Julio Jones is still one of the most coveted and best wide receivers in the game to this day. We can still get a king's ransom back for him. We will get a boatload of assets, draft capital, etc. back for him. It's a tough decision, I know. This offseason is going to be full of tough decisions. Trust me, they're coming. Is one of them going to have to be Julio Jones? This is a good, top-heavy wide receiver class, and we are at number four. Calvin Ridley has proven to be a number one wide receiver. Over a thousand receiving yards last year. 10 plus touchdowns. He had a great season. He's shown to be a number one wide receiver. When Julio wasn't on the field, he still got off and did his thing. Russell Gage has proven to be a good number two option. We got Alameda Zacchaeus. We got Hayter Hurst. So do we trade Julio Jones, get a whole bunch back? Even more draft picks, number one draft picks. Maybe get a player or two that could help complement this team. Along with keeping the number four overall pick. And drafting maybe Jamar Chase or Devonta Smith. Think about it, y'all. A new fresh receiver that could come in and put in work right away. Play more games than what Julio might be playing now. What he might be playing next year. Because is Julio going to play all 16 games next year? I hope so, but it seems unlikely. When's the last time Julio Jones played all 16 games? Let's let's find out real quick. Let's play a little hometown tech trivia. When's the last time Julio Jones played all 16 games in a season? Let me tell y'all. Because I don't think it's been... I don't think it's been a few years. Let's see. When's the last time Julio Jones played all 16 games? Mmm. Y'all wanna know? It's not that bad. Last time he played all 16 games was 2018. Because Julio is a warrior. He will tough it out. And he did play 15 games last year, but only nine games this year. Nine games along with mmm. Mmm along with only three touchdowns. Yikes, y'all. Like I said, Julio's a beast. He's gonna draw attention. He opens up this offense so much. I know, trust me, I'm a big Julio fan. I'm a Julio stan. 
But we got to think, start thinking about the future, y'all. Julio's not going to be forever. Matt Ryan's not going to be forever. But Matt Ryan is at least playing at a higher level than Julio Jones is right now. What I'm saying is, this is easily what the Falcons could do. Trey Julio Jones. Trade him to one of these teams that maybe want a wide receiver. Trade him to the Eagles? Trade Julio Jones to the Eagles, maybe? For their pick? They might not be going for that because, yes, there are other wide receivers in this pick, but maybe they want an established guy like Julio Jones. I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff out there. It doesn't have to necessarily be the Eagles. It could be one of these other teams that might be looking for a wide receiver. My point is, Trey Julio Jones for a young guy. We saw how what Justin Jefferson came in and did this past season with the Minnesota Vikings. We know these young guys in skill positions come in hitting the ground running. Look at the running backs. Look at Justin Jefferson. They come in putting in work. Y'all think Jamar Chase and Devontae Smith will be anything different? I don't necessarily think so. I think they can come in and start putting in work right away. Look at Calvin Ridley. He came in putting in work right away. Now, yes, he was next to a Julio Jones. But on that same token, Jamar Chase and Devontae Smith, if we do go that route, will come in next to a Calvin Ridley. I'm, I'm just saying, it's something to think about, y'all. Let me just read y'all off the stats for Jamar Chase and Devontae Smith real quick. Let's start with Jamar, because Jamar went absolutely crazy in 2019. Y'all already know. 20 touchdowns. 20 touchdowns. Yes, he had Joe Burrow. I get all that, but Joe Burrow got to have somebody throw to him. He sure did. Played in 14 games, 84 receptions for almost 2,000 yards, 1,780 yards, 20 touchdowns. The numbers speak for itself. We know Jamar Chase is a beast. Even though he sat out this past year, we know he's been training getting right. And y'all saw Devontae Smith this year and what he did. I'll go ahead and give y'all his stats, but you already know what's up with Devontae Smith, too. He ain't no slouch either. Oh, Jamar Chase had 20 touchdowns last year. Devontae Smith had 24 touchdowns this year. 24 touchdowns in 13 games with 117 receptions, 1,856 yards. He even had a rushing touchdown on top of that, too. Jamar Chase and Devontae Smith are legit. And I'm guaranteeing you, at least one of them, if not both of them, are going to be there for us at number four. And I don't think either one you can necessarily miss on. Well, one, well, one might be better than the other, maybe, but I don't think you can miss on either one. So do we trade Julio Jones to bring in a new guy? I mean, Calvin Ridley was obviously Julio Jones' replacement. Calvin looks like he might be ready to go ahead and replace Julio Jones. We had to do the same thing with Roddy White and Julio. Calvin is going to step into those shoes, and Jamar and and or Devontae Smith could come in and step and step in and be ready to take over Calvin Ridley's number two spot. Now we got two young, dynamic receivers along with Russell Gage, Alameda Zacchaeus. Devontae Smith could be that super, super deep threat. I mean, I know Alameda Zacchaeus is a deep threat, but he's not. Alameda Zacchaeus is not a Devontae Smith. He's not a Jamar Chase. Those guys are deep threats and just crazy route running wide receivers as well. All around guys. Just something to think about, y'all. Just putting it out there. If we do go receiver at number four, we could <clears throat> still address our quarterback future in the second round and go Trey Lance because he's going to be there. We got a high second um, overall pick. I think we got number 34 or 36 or something like that. I forget off the top of my head, but it's high in the second round. Trey Lance will be there. We can get Trey Lance, groom him up behind Matt Ryan. We'll be good. And then when Trey Lance is ready to step in, he'll have two dynamic receivers in Calvin Ridley and then Jamar Chase and or Devonta Smith. Mind you, if maybe Hayden Hurst is still there as well. Maybe Russell Gage is still there as well. Alameda Zacchaeus, maybe. We'll see. I don't know if all those guys will be there, but it'll definitely be Calvin and either Devonta or Jamar. Something to think about, y'all. Trey Julio, get a whole bunch of assets back. Probably even get... We might even get another first round pick out of one of these teams and maybe we can draft Najee Harris too. Get a star wide receiver, star running back, help out Matt Ryan in the now and our future quarterback for the later. I mean, this all sounded pretty good to me if you ask me. 
y'all think about it. Think about it. Tell me what you think. Make sure you like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you check out the link down below to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel and help fuel the Atlanta Falcons to a great NFL draft and upcoming NFL season. Also, make sure you subscribe to the Tough Calls podcast on either Apple Music or Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. And until I talk to you guys next time, peace.